This chicken breast will leave you yearning for more. It's juicy, it's tasty, and above all, it's good for weight loss. So if you're looking for a meal that will leave you nourished and as well abide by your weight loss uh, timetable or plan, then this is a meal for you. It is low in carbs, but very high in protein, minerals, vitamins. This is the dish for you. Now, if you want to see how I made this, please stay tuned. To begin off, I just began by melting butter on a pan. For this, I want to make a curry sauce so that I use it to uh, best or yeah, to make my chicken breast very yummy. So I'm gonna make my homemade uh, curry sauce. I'll begin by melting some butter on a pan. When your butter is nicely melted and it's warm, to it you're going to add one spoon of flour, all-purpose flour, and you're just gonna make sure you dissolve this all in the butter. You likely have to just uh, bake it on that pan. When you have nicely, make sure that the butter and the flour are nicely mixed. You're going to get your milk. You're going to add milk to it. Add slowly as you stir so that all the lumps slowly will get out. Don't fear at this moment when you find out that the lumps are really big. Just be patient and keep stirring. Eventually the lumps will be all dissolved. Just keep adding some bit of milk. As you stir patiently it takes a bit of patience to make a sauce from scratch as you can see Sometimes the flour tends to make lumps that are so stubborn They don't dissolve that easily take some Time for the all uniformly have to dissolve, but we have all the time on our side. So no rush And that I'm gonna get a whisker a plastic one because I don't want my pan to be scratched at the bottom so I switched uh, the cooking stick with a whisk so that I can nicely fasten up the process and I'm just gonna add some water doesn't matter whether warm or cold it doesn't matter just keep adding some water so that you get the correct consistency that you want for your curry sauce It's all about you how thick you want your sauce but at that moment I find that it's already thick enough so now you, at this moment you're gonna spice it up with whatever spices you want for me I'm choosing some turmeric because of its worth uh, weight uh, sorry because of its health benefits and as well also in weight loss turmeric is also very good for your health including your weight loss plants so that's why I'm choosing that but you can choose curry you can choose any other spices you want and of course i like it because of its color it's already giving my sauce a curry like color the yellow color i like it just keep mixing your sauce it's really looking lovely it's coming around very well now just turn the heat down a little bit 
as you let the sauce uh, not boil but just to be slowly cooking then I'm adding in some smoked paprika like I said your choice of spices will totally depend on you what you want and your taste but for me at this moment I'm adding some smoked paprika just a little bit I don't want that color to influence my yellow color so I'm adding in just a little, a little bit of that smoked paprika not too much otherwise the sauce will become red instead of yellow just testing it yeah it is quite nice and then finally we're just gonna add the real curry powder to give it its distinctive taste we're gonna add some curry powder that one you really must have it no other option you must have it Continue mixing your sauce until all the spices are nicely mixed in. It's looking quite nice. Now we're gonna leave the sauce alone because now it's done. We're gonna continue with our chicken fillet. We're just gonna put it back into a plastic bag and we're gonna beat it up. <laughs> I mean it just beat up the chicken fillet like you're teaching it a lesson why it's so yummy just, anyway we're just beating it up so that it uh, becomes wide enough for us to fold becomes soft and wide enough for us to fold when we are going to make our stuffed chicken fillet when you've beaten up that chicken fillet real good <laughs> You're gonna get it out and you're going to chop it into two halves two thin slices let me say you want to do that because now you want to create the surface area whereby you're going to stuff it carefully slice that into two like that you're gonna make those thin slices be careful with the knife if you have the sharpest uh, chicken knife the better because it makes your work and life easier See how it, it's all looking nice and thin and soft that's why we have to beat it so that it uh, the meat fibers loosen up and become soft enough to be folded now you're, going, you're just gonna spice it up with your favorite spices I'm using some chicken bouillon here chicken powder I don't know what they call that in English but you can use any spices of your choice you notice I'm not using any salt because in those spices there's enough salt no need to add any more but if you feel like salt go ahead by all means I have two chicken breasts I'm going to do the same with the other one I've already beaten it up for chicken fillet I've beaten it up and now I'm slicing it also into half Sometimes you may notice that the chicken has holes because of the beating But don't worry about it also go ahead and just spice up your chicken with your favorite spices Just rub it in Like that perfect Perfect it's looking lovely and now I think at that moment we are ready to stuff your chicken with your stuffing now i'm using salsa all vegetables because of my weight loss plans or you can stuff your chicken breast with anything if you like i'm choosing salsa for my case and in this salsa i have all types of the papers i have paprikas green yellow and red then i have tomatoes and onions in there and then a carrot 
that's all there is in my salsa. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff that into the chicken fillet. Put just enough so that you have space to fold it. These are ideas of weight loss meals, guys. If you are weight loss conscious and you just want to maintain your weight but as well enjoy your meal, this is an idea of one of those meals you can prepare for yourself very easily. No much work needed. Then I'm just topping it up with a bit of cheese. And of course, at last I'm going to put on some fresh coriander. You can use parsley, you can use bislock if you want, of chives. Now I'm done, I'm gonna fold the chicken. Let me first remove that. So I folded the chicken like that. And then because the pieces are very weak, I'm gonna fasten it with some toothpicks new toothpicks by the way not used ones <laughs> so james gonna the sides to fasten it up so that all my stuffing doesn't fall out i am going to just secure it with toothpicks like that and once you're done securing your chicken fillet with toothpicks you're gonna bring our curry sauce and on your baking tin you're just gonna line it with a bit of curry sauce at the bottom so that when it cooks it has nice uh, juices at the bottom of your chicken fillet it doesn't burn at the bottom as well just lay your chicken fillet in there and the other one on the sides they're looking lovely these babies and then you're just gonna rub or brush the sauce all over brush your curry sauce all over your chicken breasts just generously brush all that nice sauce all over because you don't want your chicken to dry out in the uh, in the oven you want it to be nice and juicy that's why we're using this sauce to cover it up so that all the nice moisture stays inside our chicken fillet and then at the end we're just gonna top it up with some cheese so yummy with cheese my cheese was frozen was from a fridge so that's why I'm trying to break it up and once you're done you're gonna bake this at 180 for 30 minutes and that's what you get at the end isn't it looking yummy guys Look at that. Look at that. So yummy. The aroma is killing me here, guys. That's what it looks like. You're just gonna take out the toothpicks at that point. Their purpose ends here. Removing all the toothpicks so that you don't have toothpicks in your way. Oh guys, this is so nice it smells so good look at that look at that voila look at that the aroma alone is killing me yum look at that guys it's all juicy the insides are still nice and moist look at that it's all crunch on top because of the cheese. Look at that inside. All the veggies are just looking nice and colorful. Wow. 